Hey, what up, fellas? We are out here at the beach, and I brought just about everything I could possibly bring out here to catch some fish. I'm telling you, we got all the tactics in the truck. Let me show you what we're gonna be trying out here. It's always nice to be out here at the beach, especially when it's looking pretty nice like this. I did walk out there, and the water was still, it's still kind of cold. I'm not sure if it's because it's early in the year, but also, way out there, it looks like it's pretty clear, it looks pretty good and close, but way out there, it looks a little bit brown, so. I'm not sure if there's a little bit of an upwelling going on, but you know what? We can't change it, so might as well fish and find out what's out there. You gotta do a little bit, a little bit of this, a little bit of this. <laughs> See, we got, a, we got a few things in this truck. Well, I told you we brought a lot of stuff here. We got the small, the small surf rods. We're gonna try maybe catch some mullet out there because we got the cast net as well but but if not we're just gonna try and catch some whiting with the good old fish bites and if we do catch some whiting we can throw those suckers on some of these bigger rods I'm going for some shark because we also got the kite how about that guy right there a nice juicy meaty jack of all head all right here's what we're starting off with this handsome little chunk of jack right there I'm not sure um, we're gonna run this guy first but Maybe on the second one, we might try and catch whiting and put that on the second shark rod. Or we might use more jack, I don't know. Woo. Well, we just made it out here, and as we thought, a little bit brown out here, but we're still gonna drop this bait in the water. Oh. And here goes the big old bait. Whoa. Spot. Now we gotta get back to land. Way over there. We got our first shark rod all the way out there. Not super far. It started getting pretty brown out there like we thought. It, did, it wasn't too cold though, so that's good. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna, we're gonna try and catch some good old whiting. We gotta rig up a nice pump rig slash whiting rig. Boom. Small, small little double drop rig. Small hooks and put some fish bites on there. We're sure to catch some whiting 100%. When I was paddling through, paddling through the surf too, I saw some mullet too, so we might be throwing the cast net in a little bit. And of course, our whiting bait of choice is going to be the good old fish bites. I'm always going to catch whiting on fish bites. It stays on the hook good and they, I don't know, they really like it. Boom, right out there. Right in the little gut. That's where I like to cast for whiting. Or a deeper bar works too. They're pretty much all over, not going to lie. Oh yeah, it might. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was a nice pull. I don't think he's on though. Dang it. Come back, fella. I think it is. That's yeah, a fish. Oh gosh. That was a decent little pull. This is the smallest fish I've ever seen. Is it big enough? Oh, yes, dude, that's a decent sized one. Usually whiting, they're actually half decent fighters for their size. And that's not a terrible sized one for some bait. So we're gonna keep this sucker. Here's our secondary shark bait. It's about to go in there right now. Look at that. That's juicy, boy. No bait gets eaten up faster than a big old whiting out there on a big hook. At least for sharks. some great stuff out there. Big schools of mullet. And that's telling me there's probably some jacks around. So we definitely have to get some mullet and get it out there far. I'm pumped up now. We need to get that cast net. Wait out there a little bit farther and get some of those dang mullet. There's so many mullet. It's crazy. Oh, crab. Big crab. <laughs> Can we get this crab with a cast net? Let's see. Oh, I think I got him, boy. <laughs> I think I got a freaking crab in the cast net. 
I did. He's got hella eggs though. She has hella eggs, so we're gonna let it go. Woo, hopefully you can get out of there. This crab is getting ready to lay them eggs. So get out of my net. You get lucky this time. I think that's good enough. I think that should be good enough. But well, maybe not. That was like the perfect cast. Oh yeah, we got a few. Oh, that's all we need, baby. Thought I would get more than that. That's all we need. We also have some, might be a leather jack. Yeah, looks like a leather jack. We got them. We got them, ladies and gentlemen. They're gonna go right in this bucket right here. Right there, baby, right there. Uh, I think we just had something on this rod and I think it just broke off. I think we just broke off, boys. Are you kidding me? I think we just had something on it just broke off. Like nothing. Okay, well. There might be something on this one too. Might be. Oh, I saw a jump, dude! <laughs> he might have thrown it. He might have thrown it, dude. I saw him jump out there. Oh, man. I think it is damn clicker off. He might see it still, still be on there. Oh, he is on there. I need to set the hook. The clicker literally won't turn off. Oh, he is there! <laughs> He's definitely still there. Oh, let me get my belt. God ah, dang. Shark fishing gets weird, alright fellas? This is on the whiting, but the jack already... The jack... Got a bite press too. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Man, he was just giving me a free line. I, I messed up on the first one. I don't know. The first one got cut off somehow. Wow. Come on. Come on. Let's go. There he is, dude. I think he's seen... I always say this. They hate seeing those sandbars. They hate it. They don't want to be up here this shallow. Unless they're chasing bait. Oh man, he's close, boys. Dang, dude. I saw him jump way the heck out there. So I thought he would be a decent decent size, but this is like a smaller guy. I'll take it though. He even put up a few uh, runs. Ooh. Oh man, okay, he's a little bit bigger than I thought. Not a giant. A little bit bigger than I thought though. Oh, what's up big dog? You're coming with me. Come on, come on. Let's ride this next wave, bud. Look at that guy right there. Oh, he's got a remora. Ooh. Sick, dude. Actually sick. Hey, you're going up further. I like it. Oh. Woohoo! Alright, let's get our tools and we'll get them back. Woohoo! Alright, bud. I don't know what got you on your back. Something was gnawing on your back. Woo! That's cold, boys. Honestly, I wasn't really expecting to catch a shark. I ended up doing a pretty freaking short run on both of them. It's always a better chance to get it out deeper, but these, these guys will, whew, they're coming a little bit shallow first and he's out of there, man. Man, those mullet better watch out. Hooked up, and then five seconds later, you see that shark sh jumping way out there. Catching sharks in the day, too. It's, it's always nice. A lot of times you catch them 
pitch black at night. All right, let's get our live mullet action going. I'm telling you, man, once we get these live mullet out there, I think we're gonna get some crazy bites. There has to be fish. I just saw a nice mullet jump out there. There has to be fish feeding on these guys. Just waiting for the right time. Especially, especially if there's kingfish, kingfish will kind of mess up a mullet and then a shark can catch up to the mullet and eat it up. This line has been out there over an hour with this mullet on it and it just took off so fast. And now I don't feel anything. Nice. Oh no, there's something there. What? It feels, it's like, it might be wrapped or something. It feels real, what, see, look, it's like pinging. Isn't that weird? <laughs> I said I was not gonna guess, and I'm just guessing. It is a small shark, I think. Yeah, crazy. What up? What up, Mr. Shark? You're a small guy, huh? Get him out, though. Yeah, yeah, not a bad little guy. It's crazy, man. I can't believe there's nothing else chomping on these mullet. All right, bud, get out of here. Now you got no energy, huh? There you go. Woohoo! Two sharks, two absolute giant sharks. Okay, so listen, those were some pretty small yeah, sharks out there, but I was just happy to get them, especially since we couldn't stay out there on the beach, not even all the way till sunset. We did have one malfunction though. This guy, right here. The clicker was stuck on. Now I've had this reel for about four or five years now. And when I, even when I bought it, I bought it used for about 70 bucks. It was already really old back then. This is the pin senator. And we're gonna open it up and see what the heck is going on inside. It's been a while since it's been opened up. Now the good thing about these reels is they're extremely simple reels. There's not a whole lot going into them. So you can just open them up. Not too many moving parts. One of the moving parts though is the clicker. And for some reason, it just won't disengage. What the heck is going on in this super old reel that I haven't opened for about five years? I don't, I don't really take good care of this reel because it's just a senator, you know? They take care of themselves. I think I have to remove this too, actually. Yeah, I do. We're almost in there. Boom. Ooh. All right. Wow, look, not much. I thought it was gonna be way more messed up. I'm not seeing any super obvious problems off the bat, so I don't know how we're gonna fix this. I told you, I told you it was a simple little reel. That's all there is to it, on the clicker side at least. Just a little bit, a little bit of salt buildup on the inside right here, a little bit of sand, but overall, not looking too bad. Now, I think, here, here's the clicker. For some reason, it should stay on over there to the right when I push it to the right, but it just not, doesn't want to. We might have to force it. Wait. I literally just hit it with a hammer. I might have fixed it. Nope. <laughs> I think I just hit it with a hammer and I fixed it. If you can see this little, this little arrow thing right here, that's what makes it click here, it's engaged. If we move it out, then it disengages. And this this little thing right here, it hits on this little sprocket right there, and that's what makes the clicking noise. But what I think happened is there's like, there's a little, little crack right here. I think maybe some sand got in there, maybe even from this side, some sand got in there. So it's a little bit hard to move over. But if it stays like that, disengage, and we're good. Check it out, clicker, ugh and no clicker. Boom, fixed. I'm a master. I'm a master of repairing things, all right? I just hit it with a hammer and it fixed it. All right, like I was saying, those were some really small sharks. We're gonna get some bigger sharks this year, for sure. So we went ahead and invested in some stuff. I've been using the super dinky little fighting belt. So we got something new. We got a proper fighting belt and also a harness for extra fighting power. 
just showing these to you guys because I know some of you guys are going to say what a pitiful little fighting belt I had. But we've upgraded. We're ready for some bigger sharks. I love you guys very much. We'll see you guys next time.